In this video we will show you step by step how to replace the display of your Samsung Galaxy A33 5G by yourself. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, we would be very happy if you would make up for it at this point. It's free of charge and you will not only support our work, but also you won't miss any of our new videos. But here we go with the video finally. Have fun! The device is moderately difficult to repair. The biggest challenge is to remove the battery, which is strongly glued to the display. If you are patient and careful, the rest of the repair should not cause any problems. You will need about 60 to 90 minutes for the screen repair of your Samsung Galaxy A33 5G. You will need the following tools. Additionally, these tools can be helpful as well. You can find an original Samsung replacement screen and the necessary tools for this repair in our store at idoc.eu en. Before starting the repair, we recommend you to check all functions of the device. You are welcome to use our checklist for this. We will link it to you in the video description. Turn off your device before you start. To do so, drag the status bar from the top of the screen downwards in two steps until the power off icon appears. Then confirm the icon with a tap and follow the on-screen instructions. Next, remove the SIM card holder using the designated SIM tool. Heat the edges of the back cover with a hot air gun or hair dryer. Make sure to heat the back cover evenly and do not use too high of a temperature. Once the back cover is thoroughly heated, you can try to lift it with a suction cup and insert a pick into the gap. Alternatively, you can use the ice clack for this. Then try to lift the back cover carefully with a plectrum and slowly loosen the adhesive further and further. Now it's time to remove the upper board cover. Remove the 8 highlighted screws with a Phillips screwdriver and then lift the upper PCB cover. It is best to store the screws on a magnetic mat or other suitable storage to avoid losing or mixing up the screws. Now disconnect the battery connector with a non-metallic object like a spudger to avoid short circuits during the repair. Next up is the lower board cover. Unscrew the 7 highlighted screws and carefully lift it out of the device. Now disconnect the two highlighted connectors of the connection cable and put it aside. Removing the battery is probably the most time consuming step of the repair. Keep calm and be patient and you should get the desired result. Heat the battery slowly and evenly with a hot air gun or hair dryer and try to loosen and pry it out carefully with a battery spudger. The fingerprint reading camera is slightly glued. Loosen the highlighted connector, heat it slightly with a hot air gun or hair dryer and then try to take the fingerprint sensor out of your device. Disconnect the two antenna cables from the highlighted connectors and lift them out of your device. We're going to remove the USB board next. The highlighted connector is slightly glued. Heat it up a bit and then loosen it. Then remove the highlighted screw with a Phillips screwdriver and put the screw aside. You can now lift the USB board out of your device. The vibration motor is also slightly glued. After you warm it up slightly, you can easily remove it with a pair of tweezers. Now remove the front camera and put it aside. Now the main board can be removed. Loosen the highlighted screw and carefully lift the main board out of your device with a spudger. You can find an original Samsung replacement screen for your Galaxy A33 5G and the tools for this repair in our store at idoc.eu en. Check the new display visually and remove all protective foils on the inside. It is best to leave the screen protector on to avoid scratches during the installation. Now carefully put the main board back into its place and fix it with the screw provided. Reinsert the front camera and reattach its connector.
Insert the vibration motor into the new screen and press it down. Put the USB board back in place and screw it in with a suitable 2.4mm Phillips screw. Then reconnect the highlighted connector. Now reinsert the fingerprint sensor and press it lightly. Place the two antenna cables back into the designated hollows and then reconnect them to the corresponding slots. The slots are labeled B for blue and R for red. Put the battery back into the display unit and press it down carefully. Make sure that it is centered. Now take the connection cable and reconnect it to the two highlighted connectors. Now it is time to put the upper board cover back on and fix it with the suitable screws. Now reconnect the battery. Check that the battery connector clicks into place. Always make sure to connect the battery last to avoid a potential short circuit. Now put the upper board cover back on and fix it with the suitable screws. We now recommend that you test the display or rather the entire phone before reattaching the back cover. Turn on the phone and open the hidden test menu. To do so, open the phone app and enter asterisk hash zero asterisk hash. You can also use our linked checklist for this. Should something not work properly, check again if all components are connected and screwed in correctly. Now you can put the back cover back on. Heat the glue evenly with a hot air gun, put the back cover on and press it evenly. If your glue doesn't stick properly anymore, you might have to use a new adhesive frame, which is easy to apply thanks to the cutout template. Finally, put the SIM card holder back in place. You made it! Your A33 now shines in new glory. Hey, if this tutorial helped you, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time! You can find high quality tools, spare parts and accessories in our store. iDoc. Everything for your smartphone. Find more helpful videos here.